Is, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a gateway locker uh, that you can basically put on any page and make money from it. So when you're on the dashboard, what you need to do is go to lockers and click gateway lockers. So here, if you have any gateways already made, you'll see them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new gateway. So the product I'm going to lock is uh, Facebook unfriend finder and it basically it's a product that'll uh, let people see who unfriended them on Facebook so in this gateway name right here uh, it's basically just for your reference so you can see it on the main page uh, no one else is gonna see this this title so gateway content is basically um, what your gateway is gonna say on it and if you scroll down you can see uh, what your gateway looks like while you're editing it so anything I change up here will also be made uh, as a change on the actual gateway. So I delete that, I refresh, and you see I deleted that text and now it's gone here. So for this gateway, I'm actually going to delete all the instructional text and just leave the offers. And um, these offers right here is where the actual campaigns that are going to be promoted are going to come in. So you can put as many as you like. I usually do five. And if you want to put in an additional one, you basically click insert offer and it shows up here. So I'm going to leave this F5 and I'm going to slightly change the design by bolding it. Uh, this is a basic editor. You can change the font, the size, the color. And if you want to do anything more customized, you can click source and just edit the HTML right here. So I'm going to leave this like this. Uh, you can see right now the gateway looks very plain, but I'm going to change that in just a second. Uh, there's also one more option here called Auto Add Offers. Basically, if you want to have a little more control over what offers appear on your gateway, you can change this option. I would recommend, though, leaving it uh, on the default setting because the setting will use our algorithm to automatically display the best campaigns that perform for you. So the next tab is appearance, and this is kind of where you get uh, a little more into the look of the gateway. So the first option is opacity, and this controls how dark the background behind your gateway is. I usually leave this at 85%. Top margin is how far down your gateway is from uh, the top of the page. 10% is generally a pretty good number. It ends up being kind of towards the top of the page and easy to see. And then you have the width and the height of the gateway. And this you really only have to change if you um, change your background image. So I'm going to select a different background image. You can choose one of your own if you have an image you want to use, or you can choose one of our pre-made ones. And I'm going to choose a pre-made one for this gateway. So because my product has to do with Facebook, I'm going to choose a Facebook uh, background image. You can kind of see what this looks like. So you see this gateway image already has instructions built into the image and that's why I deleted all of the instructions. But now you see that the offers kind of overlap the instructions and that's no good. So what I want to do is I want to go to set position and I can basically move all of the all of my text that I made and the content around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make this match the width of the gateway. And then I'm going to move it a little bit down. It's a bit too big. Move it down here so now it's right in the center, which is exactly where I want it. Go down, get a preview, and everything looks OK. The next tab is functions. Uh, the first option here is unlock time. This is uh, telling you how long do you want the user to have access to your content after you unlock it. Right now it's at 48 hours. I'm going to make it 72. Teaser is how long do you want the user to wait before um, the gateway pops up on the page. This is generally good if you have some kind of video playing or something and you want the gateway to pop up after maybe a few seconds. Uh, in our case, I'm going to leave this at zero. Close button. This basically gives the user the option to close the gateway and go back to your page. Uh, I don't want this option for this gateway. An open on click makes it so the gateway doesn't automatically load when the page loads. Instead, you'll have to provide the user 
with a button or a link that they have to click to open the gateway. So in this example, I'm going to turn this off. And then we have redirect URL. And this is optional. Um, if you don't put anything, the gateway basically just unlock. And whatever is on the same page as the gateway, gateway will be displayed to the user. Uh, or you have the option of redirecting the user after the gateway is completed. So I'm going to redirect the user to my website, uh, Facebook unfriend finder dot zip. Uh, and then the last tab is mobile. So when the user is visiting from a mobile device, they actually won't see this gateway uh, as you designed it. It'll be a special mobile optimized design. And you can edit the title that appears for that page. In this case, I'm going to make it Facebook unfriend finder and the instructions that appear to the user. Uh, this page contains premium content. I think this de the default instruction is pretty good. So once you're done editing your gateway, you can go to save gateway. And it should appear at the bottom of your gateway list. So what I can do here is I click get code. And you can see there's a, a few options here as well. Uh, basically, you can choose what domain the code is on. It doesn't really matter too much unless you're using SSL. In that case, you should use this domain right here because it provides uh, SSL. And then there's another option for ad, ad block protection. And what happens is if the user visits the gateway with ad block on, it'll redirect them and instruct them to disable ad block before continuing. And then you have sub IDs. And these are useful for if you want to track this gateway across multiple sources. So I can put uh, landing page one here, and it'll give me a code that'll track it uh, for landing page one pass through the sub ID. And what you have to do is you click the code, uh, you right click, you copy, and you just put it on your website. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Uh, you can also see another preview of your gateway right here before putting on your website. And it sh this should be exactly how it will look when you put it live.